Okay, let's learn about journal entries relating to issue of debentures. I hope you all understand what do you mean by a debenture. Okay, and we'll be taking only the journal entries. So let's see the first question on this respect. This is actually question one of debentures. XYZ Limited issued, there's an E missing here, 9,011% debentures of rupees 100 each. So there were 9,000 debentures of 1,000 each, for which 200 was payable on application. This is payable rupees 800 at the time of allotment okay so out of thousand basically you were supposed to get 200 and 800 respectively at the time of application and allotment the public applied for 8000 debentures so we had issued 9000 but the public only applied for 8000 which were duly allotted to the applicants and the entire money in respect thereof was received. So 8000 debentures were actually allotted for which the money was received. So at the time of application, what did you get? You get 8000 debentures, 200 each. At the time of allotment, you had 8000 debentures, 800 each. You are required to give the necessary journal entries. So let's get going on the journal entries. So just like for the issue of shares, what happens is that in case of issue of debentures also, the first thing that will happen is you would go and make out an offer. Once you've made the offer, then there will be applications from the interested party once the applications are done, then depending on who has applied for, the applicants will be made an allotment. Right? So let's see them one by one. At the time of offer, there are no accounting entries. Why? I mean, there is a company which made an offer to the public okay now the public came back and said yes we are interested right so once they say yes we are interested they have to me deposit a particular amount which is known as debenture application money in our case 8000 people came back and said we want to apply for these debentures so at the time of application, we know that the entire money in respect thereof was received in respect of 8,000 debentures. So when we receive the money on application, what will we get? We will receive the money. Let's say we deposit it in the bank. So bank account debit. Why? Because bank is an asset. Whatever money we have in the bank is an asset. When we receive the money from the debenture holders, the bank balance is going to go up, right? An increase in the asset is debited. And what is the amount of money that we receive at the time of application? There were 8,000 people, there were 8,000 debentures rather, which were applied for. And at the time of application, they paid 200 rupees per share. So the money that I get on application is going to be 8,000 into 200 right so my money that I get into the bank is 8000 into 200 which is nothing but 16 8 to the 16 1 2 3 4 5 right 2 now what is the reason why I got this money is it that it is my income is it a sale or something no I had got this money on account of debenture application money so I credit my debenture application account. 
by an equal amount right and you can put in the narration here what is the narration that you put in being debenture application money received on 8000 debentures at the rate of 200 per debenture I'm using a little bit of a shortcut okay so this was first money that you received now debenture application account is an account but what you need to do is you need to transfer this money which you have received an account of debenture application to the debenture account so this account is standing as a credit so you debit it debenture application account debit to what is the debenture nature of debenture it's 11 percent debentures 11 percent debenture account right so this entire money will go to debenture application account again the narration that you can put in here is being debenture application money transferred to debenture account right so the first stage is complete now when we come to the second stage what has happened there you have got 800 rupees a share at the time of allotment on 8000 shares right so when this money is due unlike the application where you got the money first and then you transfer it to the debenture account in this case the money on this allotment will first become due so what will happen is let's say the terms of the debenture said okay you pay 200 on the application and on the 60th day but before the 90th day you pay 800 rupees as allotment money right so on the 60th day this money becomes due to the company from the debentures holders so we say that debenture allotment account debit to 11% debenture account how much is the money that you put in here there were 8000 debentures and rupees 800 is due on each of these debentures so this will come to 64000000 and what's the explanation that you write here being debenture allotment money due please note what is important is the number of debentures for which you have received the application even though the company made an issue of 9000 shares sorry 9000 debentures what was received was only 8000 right now let's say all these debenture holders no and actually not let's say it's the fact that we are told that the entire money in respect thereof was received which means that even the allotment money which was due has been received so when you receive the money you get the money in the bank so you debit your bank account right how much did you get you got the entire money which was due on allotment which is 64 lakh to debenture allotment account being money received for debenture allotment right so end of the day if you prepare the accounts what will happen 
you would have issued these debentures, 11% debentures, 8,000 in number, and you would have received the money against these from the bank, in the bank actually. Right? 